First, I'd like to give a shout out to Black Reality TV and, uh, you know, everyone in the LDBC who I have a tremendous amount of respect for because I already know if they've talked about it, they went in. And if they haven't talked about it yet, they will go in. But allow me to give my perspective on this whole thing right here. If y'all don't know who this sad sack of shit is, this is none other than the NFL commissioner. Unfortunately, Roger Goodell, but not that I really care because I'm not watching the NFL. I've always had <coughs> excuse me, a feeling about him being just a downright dirty snake. If y'all never seen the movie Concussion, um, his character was in the movie, well, briefly, and he just seemed like the type of person that didn't really care that much about his players. All his bottom line was worried about was that money. And if y'all don't know, he just signed a $200 million extension to continue being the NFL commissioner, I think, for another five years, much to the dismay of many team owners and whatnot. And pretty much he has the say of everything. So he pretty much, with him being the commissioner, he is the owner of the owners and the players <coughs> he is massa reincarnated basically but basically anyway roger goodell has come out recently as in today and said that colin kaepernick is not being blackballed over the anthem protests now ironically he comes out and says this after he gets that 200 million dollar extension he didn't really say much about it before, but now he's saying all of this now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this article from CNBC and see what lies he's keep, what other lies he came up with. He says, the NFL commissioner, Roger Goodell, says Colin Kaepernick is always welcome to have discussions with the league. The former 49ers quarterback was the first player to take a knee during the national anthem to protest the country's treatment of black people. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell told CNBC on Monday that Colin Kaepernick, who sparked the protest during the national anthem, is always welcome to have discussions with the league. But Goodell stopped short of saying whether the free agent quarterback should be able to play. Hmm. That's how you got to get him. See, a good journalist will always find a way to trap, so to speak, the person that they know is telling a ball of lies. Kaepernick filed a grievance against the NFL in October, accusing the 32 NFL teams of colluding to keep him out. He remains unemployed after opting out of his contract with the San Francisco 49ers at the end of the last season. While on the 49ers, he started kneeling during the anthem to protest the treatment of African Americans in the United States. Some prominent athletes, including NBA star LeBron James, have said Kaepernick is getting blackballed. We've always invited Colin to come over, Goodell told the CNBC's Squawk Box on Monday. He's welcome to come over and meet at any point in time, and we had an open door on that. There was some meeting set up with the Players Coalition, and they were invited by the Players Coalition. Asked whether Kaepernick should be playing in NFL, Goodell responded, Each and every club's got to make those decisions. They make those decisions based on a lot of factors that are best for the football team. And when they do that, that's when it's in the best interest. He did say he does not believe Kaepernick is being blackballed. Now, they asked him, <coughs> should Colin be playing in the NFL? That should have been a simple yes or no question. The fact that he had to give this roundabout response without just saying yes or no basically lets you know Roger Goodell says no. Because he knows that if Colin plays, they're going to lose a lot. But they're already losing a lot. Um, just in case y'all didn't know, NFL ticket sales have hit an all-time low. They are actually selling tickets now for $2. I found that out today, too. I was trying to debate whether or not I would do a video about it, but it depends. I mean, I pretty much spilled the beans in this one. But, yes, they have hit an all-time low where they are selling tickets for $2. I even heard that some games, uh, I forgot which ones it was a couple weeks ago, they were selling tickets for $11 a piece. That's how low they have gotten. <laughs> they have no one else to blame but themselves. Continuing, this is last week Kaepernick was awarded at awarded the Muhammad Ali Legacy Award, which recognizes athletes who use their platform to further change. 
Singer Beyonce presented Kaepernick with the honor. Goodell, who just signed a five-year contract extension reportedly worth up to $200 million, also addressed on CNBC that the slide in NFL viewership, which 45, has blamed on the protest during the anthem. Earlier this year, 45 stepped into the controversy by blasting the protest and calling for NFL owners to fire any player who disrespects our flag. Thursday night is now the number two show in all of entertainment, Goodell said. When we do something, we do it well, and we do it as an event. In a move to expand the NFL's reach beyond the living room, Verizon announced a multi-year streaming partnership with the league on Monday, reportedly paying $1.5 billion in a deal that allows fans on any mobile carrier to watch games on their smartphones. See, the fact that they have to do all of that just to get eyes to watch the, the games lets you know that they are hitting a slippery slope if they haven't already slumped already. They are literally in panic mode. They are on the table. They are about to flatline. They literally have to hope and pray and bank that the Super Bowl actually pays off for them as far as views and ratings go. Because if not, this will probably be one of the worst NFL seasons as far as viewerships go for them. And to be honest, I really don't care. I really don't. This is what they get. This is their karma. Roger Goodell, this is your karma. And maybe it's karma for things that you've done in the past because I'm just telling you, Roger Goodell just screams shady to me. Like He just seems like one of the most shadiest people ever to me. And I noticed that a lot of white people who are in the elite positions are very shady because they can afford to be it. But as you can see, He's trying to play damage control here. Damage control is only going to get you but so far. But it is what it is. <laughs>